This is Film Masters. On this episode, we have a request by Master Subby Block Sensei, who wants us to do a Optimus Prime voice effect. So we're going to do that. It's going to sound like this. Before time began, there was the cube. We know not where it came from, only that it holds the power to create worlds and fill them with life. So when we're doing the voiceover of Peter Cullen, Peter Cullen has a very deep voice. So when we're doing the voiceover, I cuff my hand like this and cover it over like this when we're doing it. So that's one way of doing it. The other option is to use a uh, plastic cup is another way and just bring it a little bit closer to your mouth um, to try and mimic the melatones that he has in his voice. Now let's jump straight into Adobe's audition and we'll begin the effect. We're in Adobe's audition now and we're gonna be going straight into a waveform. So let's select waveform and I'm gonna call this Prime. So we're doing Optimus Prime's voice. So Peter Cullen's voice from the original cartoon slash the new Transformer movies. So we're gonna leave all the rest of the presets the same and select okay. So I'm gonna talk about Peter Cullen's voice. Peter Cullen has a very deep trailer type voice, which has a lot of reverb in it. So to practice, I suggest listen to the Transformer movies. Just Google or jump into YouTube and write Optimus Prime's voice and you'll be able to hear what it sounds like, the way he pronounces the words. And another thing is to practice to try and get that reverb sound in your voice. So what you need to do, for example, if you go ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, and you get that really dull reverb sound, Try and hold that in the back of your throat. Another thing that we're going to do, which is going to assist you in to make your voice as similar as possible, is hold your hands together and cuff them over your mouth while you're doing it and put it near the microphone. So I'm going to do that right now and I'm going to do my recording and then I'm going to make some other light adjustments to the sound so that we can get our Optimus Prime's Transformer voice using Adobe's Audition. So I'm going to come down here now and just press record. And I'm just going to say the opening lines that was in the original Transformers movie, not the cartoon, but the Michael Bay's movie that he directed. So I'm going to do that opening scene where he goes, before time began, there was the cube. But again, I'm going to cuff my mouth and I'm going to hold that reverb in my throat and we're going to do that recording. So we're going to do that right now. So I'm going to come down here and press record. Before time began, there was the cube. We know not where it came from, only that it holds the power to create worlds and fill them with life. That is how our race was born. Okay, so if I just press spacebar on the keyboard so I could stop the recording. And I'm just going to trim it first of all. So let's just trim the very beginning and just down near the end. And I'm going to press the space bar to play it. Or you can come down here and press play, obviously. And we're going to listen to what it sounds like. Before time began, there was the cube. We know not where it came from, only that it holds the power to create worlds and fill them with life. That is how our race was born. Now that we've done that, we're going to go up to now to effects and time and pitch and select stretch and pitch. Now we're going to make some changes to the customization of this. So first of all, let's come up here and select lower pitch. I'm going to change the stretch to 96 and I'm going to come down to pitch shift now and I'm going to make that negative 0.5 and now I'm going to press play just to hear what that sounds like. Before time began, there was the cube. We know not where it came from, only that it holds the power to create worlds and fill them with life. That is how our race was born. Excellent, I'm happy with that. So let's select okay. It's now gonna apply the stretch and pitch
Now we're going to go up to effects and we're going to come down to special now and we're going to come down to mastering. Now we're going to make some adjustments to the mastering presets now. So let's use the drop down and I'm going to come down to reducer. So select reducer. And as you can see in the equalizer, it's brought up two crosses and that's going to allow us to make some adjustments now. Before we do, we're going to come over to the right hand side. I'm going to leave reverb amount at zero, exciter at zero. I'm going to change the wider amount to 100 and then bring the loudness mixer up to 20. Now I'm going to come down and I'm going to select the equalizer at the very first beginning and bring it right up to the top and grab the next pointer or the X and drag that all the way down into the far right hand side like so. And I'm just going to press play just so you can hear what that sounds like. And then we're going to make some finer adjustments in the equalizer. So let's press play. Before time began, there was the cube. We know not where it came from. Okay, so that's sounding close. I want to make some adjustments over to the right hand side though in the Q section. I'm going to drag it straight up to 12, 12 and 12. So let's bring all of them up to 12. And as you can see in the curve, it's made some nice sharp curve. As you can see by making these adjustments, so I'm just going to press the play button. Only that it holds the power to create worlds and fill them with life. That is how our race was born. Before time began, there was the cube. I'm just going to make some adjustments now. I'm going to change the hertz up here to 40. I'm just going to press play again and just hear what that sounds like. We know not where it came from, only that it holds the power to create worlds and fill them with life. That is Excellent. I like the sound of that. So I'm going to apply that effect. And now that's been applied. Let's go back to the very beginning and let's just hear what that sounds like. And then we've got one more step to make. Before time began, there was the cube. We know not where it came from, only that it holds the power to create worlds and fill them with life. Excellent. So you got a nice sounding reverb that's happening in the sound file. So let's uh, go and we're going to make one more effect. So we're going to go up to effects now and we're going to go to reverb and then we're going to select convulsion reverb. And we're going to make some adjustments now. So first of all, let's use the preset, a cold house and select that. If you haven't already or it hasn't already defaulted, make sure that you have lecture hall selected in the impulse. And then we're going to come down to mix, change that to 40. Room size, we're going to change that to 40 also. I'm going to leave the two dampings as they are at 100. However, I'm going to come down to pre-delay, drag that down to zero. The width, drag that all the way down to zero also. And now I'm just going to press play and hear what that sounds like. That is how our race was born. Before time began, there was the cube. We know not where it came from, only that it holds the power to create worlds and fill them with life. Excellent. I'm happy with that. I'm going to select apply now and we're going to listen now to the final sound file and then we're going to save it out and then we're going to compare it against Peter Cullen's voice from Transformers and then we're going to listen to this sound sample. Before time began, there was the cube. We know not where it came from, only that it holds the power to create worlds and fill them with life. That is how our race was born. Excellent. So I'm going to go up to file now and I'm going to go save as. So I'm going to save the file now. Let's change that to prime with an E. Um, with the location, I'm going to use the drop down. I'm just going to select my desktop. You can use the browse function up here to find a location. I'm going to save it as a wave file. However, you can change to MP3 or any other audio options or formats that we've got there. I'm going to leave all the sample type and format types as they are. And all I need to do is select OK. So adding all those steps up together, let's listen to Peter Cullen's voice from the Transformers movie. And then we're going to listen to what our sound sample sounds like. Before time began, there was the cube. 
We know not where it comes from, only that it holds the power to create worlds and fill them with life. That is how our race was born. Before time began, there was the cube. We know not where it came from, only that it holds the power to create worlds and fill them with life. That is how our race was born. And that is how you do Optimus Prime's voice in Adobe Audition. If you want to become a Film Master subby, it is simple. Subscribe to the channel. You can like us on Facebook and or on Twitter. So you can follow us along on those avenues as well. Make sure you leave a comment in the comment section below. Especially if there's a tutorial that you'd like me to make. Make sure you like the video as well. If you like the video. And until next time, don't just film it, master it.